What's up, Sushi Squad? We back in with some more Genshin Impact. Today's going to be a very short video. I'm going to try and keep this as brief as possible, where we're going to be talking about an interview that MiHoYo ended up having, talking about what they're going to end up changing with the Serena Teapot in version 1.6, as well as some planned future features. I'll put a link in the description to the entire interview so that you guys can check it out for yourselves, but it's heavily scripted and doesn't really feel like an interview so much as them just kind of flexing the fact that this stuff is coming. So the first question is, will there be a higher load limit for the Tyranna Teapot? And they do mention that there is going to end up being a higher load limit for exteriors. So outside in particular, and some rooms inside your house are going to end up having a higher load limit, which means that we can place a lot more things down. The other thing too, is they're going to finally change it so that when we talk to Tubby, we apparently are going to be able to go into any of these menus and then just go back one menu, allowing us to then end up just cycling through to the other options rather than what we have right now, where we go into it. And then if we back out, we got to talk to him again. So uh, apparently they're changing that. They also mentioned paved roads. Thank God, because those of you that enjoy building, I mean, I actually really like the Saran teapot. I've been having a blast uh building it up but there is definitely a couple things that i would criticize about it one of them at least is finally getting a fix which is paved roads which means that we will be able to i'm assuming just use a paintbrush tool to end up laying down some pathing which would be great because it's going to end up breathing so much more life into the areas that players have ended up designing because not having path blocks like it's it's disgusting dude it really is now, on top of path blocks being hinted at, they also say something about the team planning on adding some stones with furnishings floating in the air. So I don't know if that means we're going to have to have some cumbersome system of placing down a stone and then having uh, furniture float in the air, or if they are literally giving us an option to clip items because that would be awesome as of right now the only way that you can clip objects into one another is you gotta do this cumbersome thing of putting everything on top of a mountain and then you take one piece away from the mountain and it's going to end up being like it's stapled onto it and you can kind of have it go inside other buildings okay whatever i just want an option so that we can just turn clipping on and off by default so that we could just end up truly customizing our area to being however we want on top of that, for the love of God, Mihoyo, please add stairs. I want to be able to actually use the higher terrain of these mountains by being able to have our characters walk up them. I know that I can technically just climb up them, but I still want to have a staircase. Now, a couple updates that are already working in the Saran Teapot that they're finally porting out of the Saran Teapot, and that is going to be using the crafting bench while in co-op so as of right now you can actually use the crafting bench in your serena teapot in co-op with your friends but the problem is that if you're in an adventure world with your friends and then you gotta like cumbersomely go into your teapot so that you can end up crafting things and then you end up leaving to go back into your co-op friends world anyways you're you're still dealing with loading screens and Finally, I guess they're going to take the mechanics that they have in the Serena Teapot out into the open world. So we will finally not have to constantly swap out of co-op mode while we're adventuring to craft condensed resin. So that is absolutely awesome. Thank you, MiHoYo. It took you six months. It says something about when they're not within uh, range of the displayed one, map area, a teammate marker will be displayed map. at the edge of the map and travelers can but click on that marker to quickly sushi. locate their teammates. How about this, MiHoYo? How about you make controller support so I can use the right joystick to just move the map around while the left joystick is used to move the cursor around? Because then it would end up being actually really, really manageable. Anyways, I'll try to chop this video down to be as efficient and as effective as possible. Thank you for watching gamers check links in the description so you can check out the entire interview there's a couple extra things that i skimmed over just because they were a bit weird to explain but anyways i hope you have a wonderful day